you left your husband, you traveled to Canada with your children to take care of them. Who is cooking for your husband? Who is taking care of your husband? Be careful before there is an assistant wife. Hi guys, this is Emeka Anslip and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. So I know this message is quite sensitive, a really sensitive one at that and I believe that you probably have your own views to this very topic. So I would appreciate that you leave a comment sharing your own views so that more people can learn from your experience. So watch the rest of the video and be blessed. Cheers. I discovered many times even when people are going through marital challenges, they will read the Bible for the spouse. He said, my husband, see what the Bible says that you are not doing. My wife, see what the Bible says that you are not doing. See what the Bible says that you as the one reading is not doing. I see people all the time say, Pastor, did the Bible not say husbands love your wife as Christ loves the church? This man does not love me. The Bible says husbands. You are not a husband, you are the wife. That part is for him. Let him read it and see it. When I say, wife, submit to your husband as unto the Lord, that part is for you. You should see that one and do it. If everybody faces their own part, there will be no crisis to see. Is somebody getting what God is saying? The challenge is that everybody is making themselves an expert in other people's matters. Expert in everything. This man does not know how to love. This woman does not know how to submit at all, at all, at all. If your name is not Jide and I say Jide, you should not answer me. So when the Bible says husband is not talking to the wife, wife, don't look at it. Move on to the part he's talking to you. When it says wife, it's not talking to husband. Husband, move on to the part that is talking to you. Is somebody hearing what God is saying? So God is telling us that we must walk in the light. Don't give excuses why you will not do it. Number three is rebellion against the covenant. This is one of the reasons why many homes are in crisis, particularly in these modern times. Most people are taking the marital picture. Instead of taking it from scriptures, they are taking it from the world. It is from what they see on social media, what they see in movies and so forth, that they are trying to imbibe as culture. There is no culture that is superior to scriptures. Hello? There is no culture that is superior to scriptures scripturally speaking the husband is head of the wife somebody say hey how can you say that people are supposed to be equal as human beings they are equal as husband and wife the wife the husband is head over the wife that is the scriptural position is somebody getting what god is saying anything with two heads is a monster if you see one day your dog wakes up and he has two heads will you not run Anything with two heads is a monster. For administrative purposes, the husband is the head of the wife. It is not for domineering purposes either. So husband, don't now begin to oppress the wife based on your position. I'm the head. I'm the head. I'm the head. I'm the head. It, is not, it doesn't need to be said. If you are in a work environment, your boss does not keep on telling you, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. It is known already. Is somebody getting what God is saying? To be the head, show leadership. Show example. Keep leading the way. Keep covering the family. Keep lifting the family. That is your duty as the head. He said he gave, he said to, that Christ, you were to love our wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. That's what it means to be the head. So let's take covenant responsibility. And finally, number four. Number four reason why many are in crisis is living apart living apart biblically ma in marriage the two partners have become one flesh therefore living apart is a risk hello living apart is what is a risk particularly in this, these days uh, where somebody will just see small money and send the family outside and then stay on ground is a risk. I passed on in Europe for many years. I saw plenty of people who claim their husband is at home. And I know the result of that. Plenty crisis. By the time they come back together, they don't understand themselves. Two of them have been living such different lives. 
Beyond that, it is the highway to temptation. The highway to temptation. You left your husband, you traveled to Canada with your children to take care of them. Who is cooking for your husband? Who is taking care of your husband? Be careful before there is an assistant wife. Is somebody getting what God is saying? So if you have done that, stop it. Tell them to come home. Tell them to come home. Be in the same place at the same time. There is no excuse that is, that is, that is acceptable for being separate. If you won't go, they must come. You must be in the same place. That is the scriptural standard. Lift your hand to heaven. Let's give thanks to God.